Hello everybody, welcome to the Coach Live Academy Lab Guide. I'm Manuel Largo and today we're going to do the lab guide for the week 4 of the IMSA Racing Series. We're going to be driving our BMW M Hybrid and we are going to be around Road Atlanta. So let's take a look first, the past lap. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in Road Atlanta. Um, nice track and nice, really nice combination, but complicated as well. So uh, when we reach in the first corner, we have to take a look at this extra asphalt here on the area left. So we we kind of go over the grass to take a good line to from the exit to the to the inside for the turn one. So put the car a little bit on the grass to gain this extra space really uh, gentle brake because all you want is to the car to point to the inside so down to fifth gear fifth gear and soon with the throttle making sure that the car is going to rotate and you're not going to to be to the grass to the left and this is for me the most complicated and trickiest points here in road atlanta is this blind section here my reference is this Marshall Place here on the right with the blue roof and uh, when I crossed uh, this Marshall Place uh, I know that I have to be turning to the inside of this turn too because it's, it's really blind so at this time you have to take your time to put the car on the left really close to the to the curb here on the left once you see it is your reference to place the car here and when the the curb ends at this point at this point the end of the, of the curb is my turning in point so now you you can't see the the apex of turn three is one of the most complicated for me to find this curb so my reference is the end of the curb here so we reach the end we turn it in and at this point we can see the apex we can see so at this point we steer into the to the right and find the perfect place to go over the curb and make sure that the car is pointing to the inside because if the car goes straight and goes over the bump you're gonna go straight so make sure that the car is pointing to the right over the curb and the car is gonna land through the turn four that you have to be re very close to the to the curb and following the racing line for this uh, chicane section is completely flat out with the scars only well, you have to follow the the racing line and go over the second curb is the car wants to go here so you gain space to put the car over this curb because you need to take your time again to brake not too hard really a gentle brake to put the car over the curb and when the curb one is more to the to the right when the curb closes is the reference to turning in and go over the curb on the left it's no problem and as you can see here really soon with the throttle again to make the car rotate with that throttle soon and be very careful with this exit 
because there is a really high bump here. If you go um, really wide, you are going to crash into the wall. And you, if you go uh, really to the inside, you are going to lose time. So you have to find the, the perfect position to go over that curve because it's, it's really important to gain, gain a lot of time. Okay, the two corners before the back straight. My brake reference is the 200 board on the left and the white line here on the ground down to third gear soon again with the throttle because this this corner is with uh, with good grip because it goes like this so soon with the throttle again before the apex and place the car to the left and the corner that has no reference for me to to break because I brake as soon as I touch the curb on the on the left, I'm gonna start braking. As you can see, we go over the curb. Be very careful when you go down to the curb because you can uh, lock the tires of the right a little bit. Go over the curb on the inside. So with the throttle, not too not too powerful. Little by little, as you can see. And again, careful with this curb on the right on the left. Sorry. And flat out to the back of straight where there is a lot of battles here to oh, on draft uh, with the other classes of cars and we are reaching the heaviest braking zone my braking reference is really near or if you want to break a little bit later is on the on the hundred board or the big black big black board here on the right as I said hard braking 90%, 95%, and start with dry braking, and we have to sacrifice the first corner. We're gonna go as as much as the inside as the off truck let us, as you can see. And we sacrifice the exit of this one, and we place the car in the middle part of the truck and go flat out, but careful with these inside bumps because if you go flat out there, the car makes a little bit unstable. So I prefer to lift a little bit to stabilize the car and then when the car is back to the ground, flat out. And last corner is, is again blind but you, you have to know where the road is. A little to the inside you can see here this little apex here. Here you can see this white line and the grass. And flat out. No problem with these LMDH cars. Last corner and finish line. Okay, so thank you for being here on another Coach Live Academy lab guide. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel and follow us in our social media. We keep doing this week by week, so see you on the next one and take care. Bye bye.